Friedrich August Eberhard von Mackensen, September 24, 1889 to May 19, 1969, was a German general and a convicted war criminal from World War II. He held the positions of commander for the 1st Panzer Army and the 14th Army. Post-war, Mackensen faced trial for war crimes before a British military tribunal in Italy. He was found guilty and initially sentenced to death for his role in the Arditan massacre, where numerous Italian civilians and political prisoners were executed. However, his sentence was later commuted, and Mackensen was released in 1952. He passed away in West Germany in 1969. Early Life Eberhold was born on September 24, 1889, in Bromberg, Kingdom of Prussia, German Empire, as the fourth of five children to Field Marshal August von Mackensen and his wife Dorothea, née von Horn. In 1906, Mackensen enlisted in the Imperial German Army and rose to the rank of Fahnenjunker, officer candidate, within the 17 corps stationed in Danzig. He was subsequently promoted to lieutenant on March 22, 1910. Military career At the onset of the First World War in 1914, Mackensen served as a regimental adjutant in the 1st Hussar Regiment. He was promoted to 1st Lieutenant on February 25, 1915, but sustained a severe wound on August 23, 1915. Following the injury, Mackensen transitioned to a staff role in the General Staff of the Army Group Schultz. He attained the rank of captain on May 20, 1917. After the armistice in 1918, Mackensen continued his military service in the Reich Sweger of the Weimar Republic. He assumed the role of chief of the 1st Squadron of the 5th Prussian Rider Regiment in Belgard, while also participating in right-wing paramilitary free corps and engaging in conflicts in the Baltic states in 1919. In 1925, he took charge of the Army Transport Department of the German General Staff of the Ministry of the Reich Sweger in Berlin. Following his promotion to Major on February 1, 1928, Mackensen served on the staff of the 1st Cavalry Division in Frankfurt, Oder, from 1930 and was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel on October 1, 1932. Starting November 1, 1933, Mackensen assumed the position of Chief of Staff of the General Inspectorate of the Cavalry and was promoted to Colonel on September 1, 1934. He later became Chief of Staff of the 10 Army Corps in Hamburg, succeeding the cavalry in the newly formed Wehrmacht. In 1937, Mackensen took command of the 1st Cavalry Brigade in Insterberg. Promoted to Major General on January 1, 1938. He became the commander of Army Group Command V in Vienna on May 1, 1939, serving as Chief of Staff under Field Marshal Wilhelm List. At the outset of World War II in September 1939, Mackensen served as the Chief of Staff of the German 14th Army in the invasion of Poland. Subsequently, he became the Chief of Staff of the 12th Army involved in the Battle of France. On January 1, 1940, Mackensen was promoted to Lieutenant General and later to General der Cavalerie eight months later. By January 15, 1941, he assumed command as the General of Three Army Corps, part of the 1st Panzer Army in Army Group South. On July 27, 1941, Mackensen was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. His forces were the first to reach Kiev during the First Battle of Kiev in the German invasion of the Soviet Union. In November 1942, Mackensen assumed leadership of the 1st Panzer Army in the Third Battle of Kharkov following General Paul Ewald von Kleist's command of Army Group A, recognized for his accomplishments in the Second Battle of Kharkov. Mackensen received the oak leaves to his Knight's Cross on May 26, 1942, and was promoted to Colonel General, General Oberst, on July 6, 1943. Shortly after his promotion to General Oberst, Mackensen was relocated to Italy as the commander of the 14th Army. Following the Allies' breakthrough of the Winter Line during Operation Diadem, Mackensen was dismissed by Kesselring for disobeying orders, leading to his retirement from active service in the Army in the summer of 1944. Trial and Conviction On March 24, 1944, SS members carried out the Arditan Caves Massacre, where 335 Italian civilians were shot and killed. 
This brutal act was in retaliation for the deaths of 32 German police troops in a bomb attack. Adolf Hitler, in consultation with General Oberst Alfred Jodl and Field Marshal Albert Kesselring, ordered this war crime. At that time, Mackensen held the position of commander of the 14th Army, reporting to Kesselring and overseeing Lieutenant General Kurt Malzer, the military commandant of Rome. All three, including Mackensen, were later convicted of war crimes. After the unconditional surrender of Nazi Germany in 1945, Mackensen became a prisoner of war. On November 30, 1946, a British military court in Rome convicted him of war crimes and sentenced him to death. In mid-1947, his sentence was reduced to 21 years imprisonment, and he was released on October 2, 1952, after serving five years. Following his release, Mackensen lived a secluded life in Alt Muhlendorf, now in Warder in the rendsburg eckenford district, near Nordorf in Schleswig-Holstein, West Germany. Mackensen passed away on May 19, 1969, in Newminster, at the age of 79. Awards Iron Cross, 1914, Second and First Class Class to the Iron Cross Second Class, September 17, 1939, and First Class, October 2, 1939. Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with Oak Leaves Knight's Cross on July 27, 1941, as General Dirk Valerie and Commander of Three. Army Cops Oak Leaves on May 26, 1942, as General Dirk Valerie and Commander of Three. Army Corps. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal and Patreon in the description box below.